I have a little designing and uh, this is very simple. <laughs> I have this uh, text level job batching. Welcome to million upload record. And if I click on upload, we have a single form with the text choose a file to upload, having a button, submit button and choose file button. And uh, styling is very easy. On the layout, I have given this file, choose a file to upload. And inside layout, we have H1, which is having the color, center, margin. Then we have the form with a border. So you can see we have a border. And this, then we have a simple button with a gray text, uh, uh, white text and gray background actually. In the index, we have same thing, like we have a two H1 and H2 with the texts. It was simple, easy. So I'm going to start with the upload because now what I'm going to do when I choose a file like 50k records and when I click on the upload, it should do something on the upload thing. Okay, which is not doing anything. For that, we need to take care of the submit method like on submit method. So when I submit the form, what's going to happen? I say handle form. Okay, so I need to create a new function like handle form. So this is going to be handle form. This is going to get the event. So first I'm going to prevent the default action. So prevent default. This means if I now is going to submit, it's not going to submit the form because I want to submit this form manually, like from the JavaScript, from the React part. Then what we need, we need to grab whatever file we have uploaded. So how we can grab this input field, the file input field. I'm going to give, give a reference or ref, the JavaScript or you can say the React ref. So I, I'm going to create a file ref. This is a name I'm going to give. So how I can create it. I just need to say use ref and the name of ref is file ref. You can name it anything. Initial value is nothing and make sure we up we import this use ref. Since we have this, so when we upload the form or when we submit the form actually, then we need to check what is the value of this file ref. I'm going to say log file ref or actually file ref dot current because current means they're giving the real value. Open the console inside that. If I'm not choosing anything, then if I click on upload, it says it's a file simple. Okay, so how we can get the real file and how we can know that if there is a file or not. So first I say const, that means I'm going to create the input file, which is this thing. Then I say const file is equal to input file dot files. And now let's say file, actually it, it should be files. Now one more time, if I click on upload, you can see it says file list length is zero. If I choose a file from here, then I click on upload, it says yes, length is one and we have one file. So we know that we always want to have the first file because we only allow to upload one file at a time. Now, what if I do this, reload the page, that means if I am not having any file, I have not chosen any file. If I click on upload, it says undefined, but if I have the file and click on upload, it says, yes, you have the file and we have the file details. Now I only want to move ahead if there is a file. So I say if file is not there or I can once again rename it to file only because I only want the first one. So I say if there is no file then just return that means do nothing. Otherwise if we have the file then just console log it. One more time. You can see we have the file. Click on upload. Yes we have the file that good. We are having the detail in the console. If we don't have any file and click on upload, you can see we are not doing anything although I am clicking on upload. Yes, you can give any message like upload, please upload a file, these kind of thing. But we are not focusing on that. Next, we have the file, we know we have the file. How we can send this file to our Laravel? 
so we have this level here and uh, i need to start the server should i yeah <laughs> so i need to start the server and server is started so if i go to the level like like level localhost 8000 it is there it's working and uh, we already have some routes on the web route if i go web.php we have some routes like for the upload uploading the post getting the batch details but we want all these things into the api because we are going to hit the api from here so we are going to use the fetch instead of axios because we can hit the route with the fetch so first what i can say inside here i can say api api url and here you can say https uh, local host colon 8000 slash api and then we can do something else so here the route will be first api url then slash and after that we need to hit the upload api we will going to create it and then we also need to send the file but we are not going to send the file directly because we need to create a new form so i say const uh, form is equal to and instead of form i can say form data actually so now i can say new form data and then i can say form data dot append and giving the name what name we need to give here inside it first the name and then the value so remember when we have uh, given this uh, sales controller when we upload the file we have given the my csv name to the input so if i go to the upload file dot blade dot php you can see we have the input and we have given the name as my csv so the file name should be my csv okay so here i can give the name my csv oh, not my sql my csv and then the file is actually the file we have and now i'm going to send this form data directly like here and since this is going to return a promise i need to say dot then we get some data so i'm going to convert the data into json and when i converted the json one more time it is a promise so i said uh, instead of that i can say data and then console log the data so what is happening here first we are creating the form and i can remove this console log we are creating the form we are appending that file to the form form data actually then using the fetch request we are going to hit the upload api and uh, passing this data form data and and then we need to convert the data into the readable form and if we have done everything correct we are getting the console log let's try this so here we are reload the page and choose a file click on upload we got the error an error says something here if you go into the upload part nope here there is no error hmm so what happened here let's see it's uh, https no it's not https i have given it wrong now instead of that one more time clear the console click on upload this time we are getting some other it says not found yes we know that api slash upload route is not available we only have a simple route called slash upload you can also check and you can say php artisan route colon list with php artisan and you can see we don't have any api route so now let's create the api route for these three normal routes